recruits, as the UN's representatives, you have to remain neutral. You cannot and will not act aggressively, and you must not, under any circumstances, take sides in the conflict. If we violate this simple rule, our whole operation down here will be in jeopardy. You sit there on the plane on your way down there. You sit there in your brand new uniform and your new blue beret. Our whole position down here depends on every one of you complying with these rules. And it's not one of those charter flights with seats. This is no holiday. And the gun is actually loaded with live ammo. And it's no good arguing that they're running around like cowboys and Indians themselves. You're just going to have to learn to swallow that pill. Those idiots down there may think they can run around and bash each other. But they didn't count on us coming. We'll get things under control in no time. Many of them want to be in control. To feel they're central to any action. To be cast as the lead in the film of their lives. And that's what we'll tell them will happen if they join the UN peacekeeping forces. It was the same with Tommy's older brother too. He had to go off, didn't he? Why? I've done some time myself. Over at the base near Havelta. In a hole in the middle of a field. And they'll learn soon enough it isn't half as fun as playing around in a schoolyard. And when you've been running around digging holes together and in a training, well, you want to use it for something. The first weeks down here, they're a bit jumpy. And there's the politics. They'd be looking forward to it, think they're going to save the world. You try to get into it, you know, to try and understand what's happening. Well, it's all gone to hell, all that. You should see them. They're like a circus elephant waiting to go into the ring. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! <laughs> Until the first time they get their little fingers burnt. Those shifts. I'm telling you. You just sit there and stare into mid-air for hours, right? You just sit there and stare and stare and stare and stare. Yeah, well, we get a call from them. They're a couple of miles from the base and they report they've picked up some soldier who's been downed and is lying at the side of the road. And the first thing you think, of course, is, is he going to shoot or what? And it's definitely a situation that could be misconstrued as us taking sides. And, you know, we're not supposed to get involved in that situation, you know. We're meant to just keep driving and it's complete madness, man. They're putting the whole base at risk by doing what they're doing. Well, I mean, are we just fools or what? You think there are rules and a bit of respect. But they're all the same, the Serbs, the Croats, yellow or green. They're all completely twisted. The whole bunch of them. I mean, what is this? Candid camera? Hi, Mum! It's fire! 